Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Once upon a time, I was browsing Instagram when this photo popped up in my timeline from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And what you see here appears to be a duplication of Bath and Body Works foaming hand soap in their bestseller scent, Stress Away. Now I was intrigued by the packaging. I thought they did a really, really good job. So I saved the photo. Not too long after that, I see this in my Instagram feed. Behold, a body shop duplication kit. That is correct. Wholesale Supplies Plus put together a kit. Once again, I was extremely, extremely impressed with the packaging. But the third and final gong came with this one. That's right, Wholesale Supplies Plus created a dupe for the floral micellar water from Garnier, which I personally use every single time I put on makeup. I loved the packaging. I saw that it had a pump top bottle, which I have always wished for because I think they are way more convenient. The caption says, floral waters and glycerin are inexpensive and accessible. <laughs> inexpensive and accessible. You got me. I'm still tracking. I'm following you. So clearly you got me, I'm buying it. I went to the Wholesale Supplies Plus website. I checked out all three of the products. When I got there, the foaming hand soap in that particular scent was not available. So I purchased the same ingredients in that scent, but I picked a fragrance that I wanted to use. And then of course I purchased the kit for both the lemon body yogurt and the micellar water. I now have all of the ingredients for all of these items. Plus I have also purchased the original original items from both Bath and Body Works, The Body Shop, and Garnier. So what exactly are we doing in today's video? Well, I want to see how close did Wholesale Supplies Plus, or WSP as I will refer to them for the rest of the video, get to replicating the original products. I want to see a product that performs very similarly and costs less. Now I think Wholesale Supplies Plus has a slightly different intention with these kits. What I think they wanted to do is make something inspired by, so it may or may not have any of the same properties. It just has the same look, maybe kind of has the same smell. It's slightly cheaper to make, but perhaps uses more natural ingredients that seem to be a thing that they kind of push when it comes to making your own products. You can control what's going into them. However, I want them to perform the same. I want to try this lemon body yogurt on my hand and then try the original recipe on the other one. And I want them to feel similar. They don't have to feel exactly the same, but I'm looking for similarities. I want this micellar water to get my makeup off without any rubbing or anything. I want them to be similar. I will also do a cost comparison for how much it would cost you guys to make your own using their kits versus buying them in the store. Would it actually be comparable or is this just another like craft kit where you've made a product that's kind of subpar and it costs you a lot of money to do it? I don't know. That's what we're going to find out. So here's some things to know right off the bat. When I got my box in from Wholesale Supplies Plus, all of the individual ingredients are just thrown into a box. You have a packing slip. And if you decipher it correctly, you can see which items come with the kit because the other thing Wholesale Supplies Plus doesn't do, print your recipe instructions and the formula. You have to go online to their website, download them and print them yourself either before your box comes or afterwards so that you know how much of each thing you're supposed to be using. I don't know why they don't just print one extra sheet of paper that has always blown my mind. I don't know, but that's the way it is. You have to go download all of your recipes. Another thing that I have to admit is a little disappointing is that when you purchase these kits, you are not going to get this look for your products because they do not include labels. So the things that they have designed for their promotional photos, they do not give out to the public. All of my jars, that I want to look something like this are going to just be a clear jar with yogurt in it and no stickers anywhere. And that's going to be the final look of the product. So I'm not super, super pleased with that. That is one thing I really prefer about Brambleberry is that even though I do have to typically cut out the labels myself, the labels are always there. That was a lot of yak in there. So let us begin by doing the easiest one, which is the foaming hand soap. 
Behold, an original Bath and Body Works foaming hand spray. It contains 8.75 fluid ounces, which is a volume measurement, not a weight measurement. And the smell, of course, is super strong. Smells amazing. Let's take a look at the ingredients. So, of course, we have water, then you have two ingredients I can't pronounce, and then you already have the fragrance. So those first three ingredients are gonna be the bulk majority of this formulation because the total amount of fragrance oil that you add is typically like 5% or less. So that means all of the ingredients following the word fragrance are probably added in very minuscule amounts. So here's the bottles that I purchased from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They're amber, which means that I don't have to color the soap. I originally purchased this in the autumn and I thought it'd be really cool to have like a honeyed pumpkin hand soap or something. But now, you know, it's like, it's it's winter now. So here is the hand soap base we are going to be using. And if you take a peek at those ingredients, you can see the water and the ammonium laurel sulfate, which were the first two ingredients in the Bath and Body Works soap, are also the first two ingredients in our foaming base soap. So that, to me, makes me think that this might actually be performing relatively similarly. So in this video, for the sake of time, I'm only going to make one little pump bottle with this entire gallon you can make 16 of them so I'm gonna measure out my liquid soap base here and then for this project I bought three different fragrances to pick from and I think my favorite one is actually the farm fresh soap I really love that scent and then you mix your fragrance oil with a fragrance oil and essential oil modifier I have now added 0 0.125 ounces of fragrance fragrance oil into 8.5 ounces of my base. And I'm just gonna mix this up really well. In fact, why not use our mini mixer for this? My mini mixer is the Bonzen Kitchen mini mixer from Amazon and I love it. And it is as simple as pouring it into the bottle and screwing the lid on. I'm gonna put this on. I obviously have some fluff. Okay, now for the water test. So I'm gonna put a pump of this cranberry soap into my hand, maybe if I can figure out how to work it. This is a pretty dense foam. Okay, this too is also a really dense foam and feeling them both would not be able to tell the difference at all. Oh wait, if I put them both in, that'll mix the soap instead of, okay, hold on. Let me go rinse my hands off so that I don't actually mix them. That would defeat the point. So I rinsed my hands individually individually in the sink. And you guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of like this one better. I think that it makes my hands feel slightly softer than the ones from Bath and Body Works. Now, that may be all up in my head, but I actually kind of thought that I would like it less, so I don't think so. Now, here's one final thing that I will say. These are both sulfate-based cleansers. The fact that Wholesale Supplies Plus did such a good job duplicating this particular formula is quite impressive, but for those of you who don't want to use sulfates or sulfate-based cleansers, making it at home wouldn't help you out at all because, you know, you're essentially just making your own Bath & Body Works stuff at home because it's so identical. For me personally, that doesn't bother me. I think that it's an amazing, amazing base. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the price breakdown. So for a bottle from Bath & Body Works, you would pay $7.50. And I looked through all of wholesale supplies Supplies Plus's foaming hand soap kits. This one requires the least amount to purchase and is the least expensive. So instead of making 16 bottles of something, you're only going to make four. It costs $28.41. They have a $5.99 handling fee that they apply to all orders no matter what. And to get free shipping with WSP, you have to spend a minimum of $40. So you would also pay shipping on top of that handling fee for this kit. The price of the kit plus the handling fee is $34.40. And I would estimate for something with that weight, it's probably gonna cost you another $8 in shipping. So that leaves us with $42.40 to make four soaps of this size. So obviously we are now going to divide that by four. And this is how much each foaming hand soap would cost if you only made four of them. So obviously that's not a better deal than just buying it straight from Bath & Body Works. In fact, 
fact, you can actually save quite a few dollars by getting it from them. Three to be precise. <laughs> but let's calculate what would happen if you made 16 of these at one time. So Wholesale Supplies Plus actually has a foaming cranberry hand soap kit that smells like this frosted cranberry. They're essentially duping this exact soap. And that kit will make 16 of these bottles for $86.64. Because it's over $40, you would also get free shipping and just pay the $5.99 handling fee. $86.64 plus $5.99 equals $92.63. And let's divide it by 16. And that equals $5.78. So you would actually be saving $2 a bottle if you made more of them. Now, of course, that also means you have to have 16 bottles of one type of fragrance. But if you're planning on keeping, say, two for yourself, giving a couple to friends, you'd save money by doing it yourself. All right, now let's make the lemon body yogurt. I'm so excited. So this comes packaged in a yellow container. The actual formula itself is is white. And if you don't know what a body yogurt is, it is a hydrating gel, so like a lotion, but in gel form. So it absorbs really, really quickly, but it is super hydrating. I actually have used this over the past couple of days so that I could kind of tell you guys how it works and if I like it. And I actually do because I have to moisturize my hands quite often. As you can see here on my thumb, I have eczema on my hands. So every time I wash them, I basically have to put on some sort of lotion. And lotion does stay sort of greasy on your hands at least for a little while whereas this absorbs and leaves my hands feeling soft so I actually really really like this product so for whatever reason the ingredients are not actually listed on the label anywhere and I peeled to make sure that there wasn't like a secret hidden label behind but no there's not I don't know why maybe they're trying to protect the secret formula so I'm gonna look it up real quick online so here are all of the ingredients in the lemon body yogurt many of the them, I cannot pronounce. A couple of them look suspicious to me, but there they are all the same. And there's like 500 million of them. So I'm really glad Wholesale Supplies Plus isn't going to make me measure out 50 ingredients. Also, you can see here that it retails for $15 for 6.98 ounces. So essentially seven ounces. For the lemon body yogurt, there's a couple of different steps involved. This is definitely not a beginner recipe. You also have to have a stick blender or some sort of blender to make it. So just, just heads up. So in here, I have all of my oils. There's some cetyl alcohol, some shea butter, some sweet almond oil. Oh yeah, also an emulsifying wax. And then here I have just some regular old distilled water. And then in this tiny container, I have some polysorbate 80. I have glycerin and something called Lux Glide, which is a natural dimethicone alternative. So dimethicone, of course, is a silicone. So apparently they have found a natural replacement for that. That's pretty cool. So I have to heat everything up and get it to be the right temperature and then we'll come back and we'll mix everything together. Okay guys, so I have melted everything down. So let us take the temperature. My water is at 126 degrees. All of my oils have been completely melted. So now it's time to blend them together. All right. It says to add the water to the oils and the wax. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Got my stick blender here. I'm going to add them and blend. All righty everything looks good and emulsified to me. So before I can add my next set of ingredients, this has to cool to 100 degrees. So we're going to wait for that. And by the looks of it, it won't be so long. It's about at 114 right now. Okay, guys, so my bad. Apparently, I was supposed to add this in after the first blend. I thought I read the instructions super well, but apparently I did not. So I have to wait for it to cool to 100 degrees before adding the fragrance oil and preservative but should have added this in when it was a little bit hotter. So if this doesn't turn out exactly right, it's on me. <laughs> it has cooled. So now I am pouring in my color, my essential oil, and my preservative. Whenever you have a water-based item, you have to add a preservative or else it will grow 
bacteria, and that is disgusting. I have incorporated all the ingredients except the thickener. Add a little of that in and see where it takes us. I have now mixed in all of the ingredients. It's still warm, but I feel like it's gonna thicken as it gets colder. This is like water. Now I made sure I measured everything exactly, and I'm holding out for this to just, again, thicken as it gets colder. So I'm gonna do what they said to do, which is to pour it into the jars. Looks like you definitely make enough to fill up the jars completely, which is such a nice thing after having made so many children's craft kits. And I will take them to my refrigerator and let them set up for a couple of hours, and then we'll come back and we'll test these. And now for the micellar water. It's about 3.4 fluid ounces. And on the back, you can see the first ingredient is water. And the next two ingredients are hexylene glycine call and glycerin. So the first three in our recipe are water, geranium water, and propylene glycol. So very different ingredients. I'm going to add in all two ounces of the geranium water hydrosol. I'm going to add in two ounces of propylene glycol. Actually, I'm not. So this is supposed to have two ounces in it. It only has 1.65 ounces. So I'm not actually adding in as much as the recipe calls for because they didn't give me enough with the kit. Now I'm adding in one ounce of natural glycerin, 0 0.2 ounces of cocomidopropyl betaine, which is a surfactant, so a cleanser, a bubbling agent, 0 0.45 ounces of amptocide coconut, and then 0 0.45 ounces of lucidal liquid SF. I'm going to mix this up with my mini blender, and then I'm going to pour it into each one of these jars. I shook theirs up a little bit so you would get some of the bubbliness, but here's ours and there's Garnier's. So let's test these before we do a price breakdown. You'll be the prince and I'll be your cotton candy nightmare. The point of this makeup is not to look good, it is to have a lot on. So I have put on all of the darkest pigments, I have put on waterproof mascara, I have put on this like waterproof eyeliner in an attempt to see is this actually going to work. I'm going to try to get all of the makeup off of each eye with one cotton pad. So let's give the regular micellar water a shot. And then I always hold it on my eye for a second or two to kind of let that just kind of, you know, sit and start breaking everything down before I start wiping it off. Honestly, what a miracle product. I mean, look at this. It's ridiculous. There you go for eye one. You can see it's all gone. My eyebrows aren't done. Please don't judge. I really hope this works. And I like the little pump top so let's pump 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 let all this floral water seep in Wow, looky there. So uh, that works literally exactly the same. I didn't have to rub any extra, it came right off. And honestly, the one I made smells better. I put a little bit of pigment on my lips. Pretty sure that just came off too. Wow, I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> so the 3.4 ounces of micellar water at Ulta is $4.99, so $5. And then the one we made makes 5.5 ounces, so they're slightly bigger. I paid $22. 262 for the kit and then there is a 599 handling fee which is 2861 divided by four, and you get $7.15. At $7.15 for this entire bottle, that equals $1.30 per ounce. So for 3.4 ounces, which is the same size as the original, it costs $4.42. So you end up saving about, you know, 50 cents or so. So make it or buy it. Well, I would be tempted actually to make it because this has a lot less weird ingredients in it. So should you make it or buy it? I mean, I guess that's up to you. I go through my cellar water like it's going out of style and making it in bulk with this cool little pump top and being able to put that geranium floral water in it so it smells really nice and being able to control all the ingredients going into it so that I know exactly what I'm putting onto my face. That would be worth it for me. I would say it is probably worth it to make it. The final thing I have to do is get that yogurt out of the refrigerator. I mean, body yogurt, of course not yogurt I'm gonna eat in front of you. Okay, so the body yogurt is definitely ready. It is not warm at all. And guys, it's like 
really, really runny. I wish I had put some more of the thickener in it, but I put the maximum amount they suggested, and they said if you put too much that it might get gummy on you. So this is the texture of it. Kind of a milky, soft, super runny body lotion. This is definitely not a gel-based product, which is kind of the whole point of a body yogurt-like thing in the first place because it's fast absorbing it doesn't have that typical kind of oiling afterfeel that lotions do. That's why you would buy a gel in the first place. So I feel like this particular DIY kind of misses the mark for me just a little. If you were going to market this as lemon body lotion, that's one thing. But to say it's inspired by the Body Shop body yogurt, I feel is a little misleading because it doesn't have any of like the same properties that that original thing has. That doesn't mean it's not a good lotion. It simply means I don't think it's a dupe. So as I'm rubbing it onto my hands, it's been about 10 or so seconds. I only put a very, very, very little amount on my hands, but it's taking forever to rub in. This is definitely not the type of lotion I personally prefer because again, I want it to absorb as fast as humanly possible. This feels a little greasy. And as far as fragrance goes, it's not very similar at all. This on my hands smells like lemon essential oil. This has has a very unique lemon scent that's definitely mixed with something. So let's do a cost breakdown. So the Body Shop Body Yogurt at Ulta retails for $15 for 6.9 ounces. That's a pretty penny. Now it's on sale right now because it's Black Friday for $10.50. So that would be a better deal. But yeah, $15 for 6.9 ounces. The Body Yogurt Kit from Wholesale Supplies Plus is $30.59 plus the $5.99 handling fee plus whatever shipping you may incur because your total is under $40. So probably $8 or so for a total of $44.58. Divide that by four and you get $11.14, which means our DIY version is cheaper than the original by $3.86. Well guys, this has been a truly unique experiment. I loved seeing the duplications and let me tell you, this one's worth buying. So the foaming hand soap worth buying, floral micellar water, definitely worth buying. And the body yogurt, I personally didn't enjoy. I didn't feel like it was a good dupe at all. It just isn't the same product. It's not a gel. It's a lightweight lotion and leaves me feeling kind of greasy. So it's not for me, but these two are bomb. These two are bomb. They're super, super easy to do. You don't have to have a lot of fancy equipment, just a digital scale and something to mix it up. Well, guys, what do you think? Would you like to see more videos where I test product dupe kits from Wholesale Supplies Plus? They have also put together some Burt's Bees chapstick. They, they keep coming out with these really cool duplications. Let me know down in the comments below. Have I inspired you to create one of these products at your house? Let me know. And have yourself an absolutely fantastic day. Do something fun for yourself today, like making your own makeup remover or making your own hand soap to keep for yourself and give to your friends. And until next time, have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. This was really fun though. We should do it again. Okay, bye. Meow.